Hello, good afternoon on this very kind of sunny uh, but chilly Thursday afternoon. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon here in Maryland. And uh, if you are just joining me uh, and don't know who I am, my name is Laura and I am here to have conversations of support uh, with each of you and to encourage each of us to have conversations of support with those uh, that we encounter every day, whether we know uh, these people or they happen to be a stranger in the store that you say hi to. Uh, today is day four of our four-part series on finding. Our first day we did finding joy, the second day we did finding um, support, and yesterday we talked about finding our confidence and courage. Um, so it all kind of blends together, goes hand in hand. So today we're going to be talking about finding our passion. What are you passionate about? Is it something that you can make uh, a career out of? Something that you can get paid for? Is your career, uh, your passion something that you prefer to do just as a hobby or that you volunteer to do what is your passion and uh, if you're tuning in let me know where you're watching from um, if you're watching in the replay um, uh, thank you for joining us um, today we're talking about uh, uh, finding our passion uh, for me personally I feel that my passions have kind of ebbed and flowed throughout my life um, I've got 52 years in here and uh, uh, um, for a bulk of my adulthood I was a preschool director so that was my passion was encouraging in the beginning education process for our children. Um, I encouraged those new moms um, and dads and sometimes the grandmas who brought the kids to uh, the preschool, encourage them to let the little ones come to school, let the little ones learn and begin their school process um, and learn how to love being in school, being with other children, um, interacting with other adults other than who their own family members are. Okay. So that was my passion for about 20 years or so. Um, and I still, I still love that um, area, but I'm not working in that area anymore. I'm retired from that, um, which has been a, a blessing in disguise. I wasn't um, feeling as passionate or as uh, appreciated by the end of my time uh, by some of the folks that I worked with. So you know what? it's a blessing that I get to move on and that my passions change. So now after that, my passions have been learning how to be a support person to someone who is just beginning their recovery um, from an addiction, whether it was uh, drugs or alcohol, um, uh, helping them figure out better, healthier coping skills, um, talking through a situation that they might be upset about. Um, so that has been something that I've been uh, involved in with uh, for the last three years or so. And I enjoy doing that. It's a, a very um, uh, emotionally, can be emotionally um, exhausting some days. Um, but it can also be so very emotionally rewarding to know that you're helping uh, even just one person at a time. So, hey Michael, thanks for joining uh, today. Uh, you've been checking in on me every day, so I really appreciate that. Um, my other passion, if you haven't uh, um, learned a little bit about myself, is that I'm a PTA um, uh, mentor. So what that means is I'm, I've been in and, and worked with, volunteered with different PTAs throughout the course of my children's um, education career. But now that they're all graduated and in college or at home, um, I'm still out there supporting and helping new uh, parents uh, who are willing to come in and learn how to uh, be a PTA leader. So I have a big PTA event that I'm helping with uh, tonight. So uh, this evening I won't be home uh, for about oh, five or six hours because I'll be helping out with this PTA event. But that's a passion I have. Um, Passions should be bringing you um, some kind of fulfillment. It shouldn't be stress related. Um, finding your passion isn't just about careers and money. 
It's about finding your authentic self and the one you've buried beneath other people's needs. Isn't that an interesting uh, sentiment? Finding your authentic self, the one you've buried beneath other people's needs. So I am a person that likes to help others and I tend to put myself second, third, fourth, fifth on the list, um, usually the last on the list, um, but it hide our own authentic self, right? So I think we do need to take time to think about what our passions are, what brings us that fulfillment, what would we like to continue doing? Um, another quote that I found um, that I, I thought was interesting uh, for this topic was, if you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion, for your passion will lead you right into your purpose. So sometimes we want to interchange the word purpose and passion, but if we can figure out what that passion is, we will know what our purpose is. So right now, I think my purpose is supposed to be as a mentor, as an encourager, because everything that I do now, whether it's in the recovery uh, community or um, in the PTA community or in um, even like the health community that um, uh, 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 for families that um, have children with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, it's all about encouragement and um, support. So that is, I think, my purpose and my passion right now. Um, one way we can uh, figure out our passion is to pay attention to the things that you are naturally drawn to. They are often connected to your path, your passion, and your person in life, your purpose in life have the courage to follow them. So isn't that an interesting uh, sentiment also? That pay attention to those little things. What little things do you fit into your schedule that you actually feel passionate and enjoy doing, even if it's not bringing you like a paycheck or something like that, it's not always just about money. We can do a lot of things in, in our volunteering life. Uh, so, um, you know, take take a minute to look at what you do over the, uh, what you have in, gotten yourself involved in over the last couple of months, see if there's a common thread there, and then maybe utilize that and focus on that and find something that you can do on a regular basis that helps you, um, that enables you to keep doing that passion, uh, that, that uh, feeling of um, contributing to something um, to in our community but in a positive way that brings you joy and not stress or the anxiety um, so basically all in all when you're trying to figure out what your passion is figure out what you love what uh, make sure you love what you do love uh, I can't see it here wait a minute uh, come on where did it go my there it is uh oh so the four things that i was starting to talk about before my uh picture disappeared on me but love what you do love why you do it love how you do it and love who you do it for so i love how i can be a good listener an active listener um a good uh encourager um, I can uh, love to share words of encouragement and uh, support. Um, I love why I do it because it might help that other person. I love how I do it in a positive manner um, that's kind and caring to the best of my own ability. And I love um, who I do it for. I love those that are trying to um, make their lives better um, in the recovery community that you know they're they're trying to change their habits for better and if I can help encourage that um, and be a small part of that process then that brings me happiness if I can help a PTA a, a new PTA leader be successful with their local unit um, 
then that makes me feel good too because I know that PTA is going to be successful even when I'm not there to attend meetings. If um, someone who's newly diagnosed um, uh, with a child that has Duchenne muscular dystrophy or kidney disease like I have, um, you know, if I can support them and we can walk through it together, then we're helping each other, right? So find your passion. Uh, so, and I think once we find our passion, we find our joy, we know how to get support for our passion and what brings us joy, and we can be confident and have the courage to keep doing that passion, what brings us, um, uh, and that gives us a purpose, right? And then that's where it leads us to today's topic is uh, finding your passion and your purpose. So I hope this has helped. If it has, please uh, feel free to share it. Um, I will be back on live tomorrow. We will have a new topic to talk about. Um, I'm still working on uh, figuring out what I would like to do for our next series coming up. If you have ideas, please post them in the comments. Talk with me, interact with me. That's what a conversation is, back and forth, right? So feel free to comment. And if you're watching the uh, replay, uh, let me know where you're tuning in from um, and what your thoughts are. And I will get back to you um, as soon as I see it. Um, again, I'm going to be uh, out this evening, so I'll probably have to check back uh, later this evening when I get home or uh, tomorrow morning. So I appreciate you all uh, joining me for the four days of our uh, series here of finding, I hope you have found <laughs> uh, either some joy, support, um, uh, strength and confidence and courage um, and your passion and your purpose. So have a wonderful um, afternoon on this sunny but chilly day outside um, here in Maryland and um, I will look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Go be passionate, find that passion in you and, it, and if that passion is your family, enjoy that family because we never know how long we're going to have any of us with each other, right? So make that a part of your passion too. Our passion shouldn't always be just about helping others, but it also means we should have a passion about loving and, and spending time with our own families and enjoying our time with them because life is short. So find what brings you joy get the support when you need it, be confident and courageous, and find your passion and purpose in life. I believe in you, and we will be um, having lots more conversations of support as we move forward. So I look forward to tomorrow's conversation of support with you all. So have a great afternoon, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.